What it is, focus your homeboy Fur back again with another episode of the realest, most entertaining sports show in the game. Put it on something. Solo dolo for the promo right now, but you will see my brother Tim G. Jacob later on in the show. Also, I have a special guest later on in the show. One of my OGs, you feel me? But before we get into it, I need y'all to go ahead and do that right now. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Put your partners on it. I thank y'all so much for last week. We got well over 100 subscriptions last week. And that's because of y'all, man. Real ones, for real, for real. Make sure you're sharing it with your partners, though. And I hope y'all enjoy my new end screen. My baby girl made a new end screen for me. You know what I'm talking about? The real boss of IG Entertainment. You know what I'm talking about? My happy. So I hope y'all uh, like that. You feel me? But uh, we ain't gonna waste no time. We are gonna go ahead and get into it. Okay? We got some things to discuss. You feel me? Because y'all see the statement I'm making right now. And it should be clear to all in LCS. You feel me? That Jackson State University has the best defense. It should be clear. Crystal clear. Okay? But we got some other things to address as well. But before we do any of that, we got a striker, the mother fucking band. Let's go. If it was the last seven hairs, it's there. Go off in style. A dominant performance. The boom sold out of D. Hey, come along. The boom ain't come along. They never lost. You feel me? Okay, we're going to get into the game shortly. But I do want to point out, our announcer, that boy right there want all the smoke. That boy right there want all the smoke. If you miss halftime some kind of way, that boy wanted all the smoke. He's, t- <laughs> as the boo who played, if you think you're lonely now, the announcer roasted TSU. The man said that they always trying to cop us. That their colors blue and white, our blue and white. We had a, a former all pro football player as our coach. They went and did the same thing. Like he was just letting them have it. And since it was the supposedly the last Southern Heritage Classic, basically like, oh, y'all gonna miss us. So if you think you're lonely now, wait until we get this up. Uh, we wait until y'all take this L tonight. You feel me? So dope shit, dope shit. Now TSU tried to counter. Okay, they, okay, they played that record by Glorilla or uh, FNL, um, trying to act like they JSU free. But you know, they did well with it. But they really don't want to be free of us. They still want us to play the game. You know what I'm talking about? So I still say Jackson State for the win. The boom for the win. Okay, but let's get to the matter at hand. That this defense is the best in the FCS, okay? Kudos to everybody on on his defense. And I saw I, on, on the stream that I was watching, uh, they had like a group chat on the side or whatever. And everybody kept saying, where's Travis? Where's Travis? Where's Travis? Where's Travis? Okay, Coach Prime cleared that up. After the game, Travis hurt. He'll be back soon, okay? But even without Travis, we didn't give up more than three goddamn points. That same three we gave up to fam, you we gave up another three. Okay, and that's without Travis. And still without Shiloh. So missing guys who you know are starters, Travis, who was the number one recruit in all of the country, them boys still out there hitting. Get them boys like that. Look, 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 over the past two years, let's take a look at this now. Over the past two years, this is what these boys have done. Last year, they gave up only six points to fam, you. Okay. 
So fam, you in the last two years, six and three. All right, that's what they've scored against Jackson State University. All right, last year we gave up 16 to Tennessee State, 12 to FBS, Louisiana Monroe, 17 to Delta State, 15 to Alabama A&M, okay, and that was their homecoming. That was the one everybody was talking shit, gave up 15 points. All right, 7 to Alabama State, 12 to Bethune, Bethune Cookman, okay, 19 to Valley. All right, well, I told y'all Valley played us uh, – very tough last year. All right. They got a, a Jack State man as that head coach. Well, we got to watch them boys. All right. Uh 21 to Texas Southern, 17 to Southern, 10 to Alcorn, 10 to Prairie Review. And then we had that brain fart uh in the celebration bowl when we gave up 31 to South Carolina State. But if you watch the game, you know that a lot of that came to our offense, putting these boys in some uh less than advantageous situations would turn the ball over in our territory and giving these boys short fields where they ain't had to do shit to score the ball. You feel me? So you put all that together. Last year, the boys uh, allowed a total of 14.9 points, okay, with only two games giving up 20 points. Again, that's that's uh, against Texas Southern, and that's against South Carolina State. This year, we've only given up six points total. We've given up no touchdowns, okay? So we're averaging three points a game, giving up right now, okay? And in that Tennessee State game, this defense allowed only 140 damn yards, 140 yards total, total. I ain't talking about on the ground. That's total. Okay, 138 of those were through the air. Only two on the ground. You know how goddamn physical you got to be playing to only give up two yards on the ground? Two. And and that's with the team trying to run the ball. Okay, uh, 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 TSU had 36 attempts. They want to run the ball. Their head coach is a Heisman Trophy winning running back. They want to run the football. Okay, but they just couldn't do it against Jackson State. If you do the average yards per rush, okay, with two yards on 36 attempts, that's giving up 0.1 yard per rush. 0.1 yard per rush. Vince Lombard rolling over his goddamn grave if he sees some shit like that. Okay, but them boys, that defense like that. Let's contrast this with something, okay? Because hopefully you watch my quick preview that I did about the game, all right? I told y'all Tennessee State handled business that previous week against Eastern Washington, a team that was ranked in the FCS. They did their thing on the ground, okay? Against Eastern Washington, Tennessee State ran for 290 yards. 290 yards on 54 carries. So versus Eastern Washington, you're getting – uh, five and some change on the ground against Jackson University. You got point one on the ground. This defense is it. But let me tell you something. I'm a coach prime on this. I was disappointed. You watch the press conference, you know he was disappointed. I expect dominance. I'm not going to go through that same shit I went through last year. I'm not going through that. Got nothing to have my goddamn blood pressure all up. And I'm not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Okay? Because that's the fuck shit that happened last year. We should have made history and beat that FBS team, Louisiana Monroe. But the offense didn't carry that goddamn water. Okay? We should have won the celebration bowl. We weren't focused all overall, I would say. Okay? But still, that offense put us in some fucked up situations. Only this shit this year. Only my they ain't fucking with my blood pressure like this this year. Look, look at my notes from the game. Look at my notes from the game. All right. Uh uh, we fumbled heading into the damn end zone. TSU recovered that. We end up with a field goal in the second. I got in my note, we got to get a touchdown out of that drive. This this me talking to myself about the, what the fuck is going on. Okay. After that, what the defense do? Defense got to stop. We drove the ball well on the ground the next drive. All right, Mr. Wilkinson was running that bitch. Shout out to Mr. Wilkinson. Mr. Wilkinson, nice little stout running back. 
Uh, we need to get that young man the ball. Okay, he had about 15 carries, uh, and he was looking good on the ground. Okay, 15 carries for I want to say, uh, yeah, eight and one yards, 5.4 clip. Give Mr. Wilkinson the damn ball. Okay, I like what I saw from Mr. Wilkinson. But still, that drive ended in three instead of a TD. You see a theme here. Third quarter, we converted on the fourth down, okay? But we got stopped on the one-yard line, okay? So we don't get a touchdown out of that. Now, I think it was the right decision, given the fact that you do have the best defense in the FCS. So uh, uh, if we didn't get it, the likelihood of them being able to drive 99 yards on us is not likely whatsoever. Okay, so I think it was the right decision to go forward. Now, you know, y'all let me know. Y'all y'all converse about how uh, we should have got it done, whether it was the right play call to get it up in there. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, some may say that we should have spread them out you know, and try to run out of a spread formation or give yourself an option. You're in a spread formation. Maybe Shadur can check out of that into a, uh, a throw if he sees it or uh, if he does throw out of that, he can scramble in. Or if he sees that the box ain't loaded now that you got them all spread out, you can just let the kid run on in there. Uh, some may say we should have done that since we weren't uh, looking like we were being overpowering on the line of scrimmage, okay? I don't know. That's left up to y'all uh, to decide, you know what I'm talking about. But I do think it was the right decision to go for it. But it shouldn't have come down to that. We should have been and punched that motherfucker in. You feel me? Uh, but after that, what did defense do? Force the punt. Force the punt, okay? We get the ball back. Touchdown pass to Coleman got negated by a holding penalty, okay? We fumbled again on this drive, but that motherfucker went out of bounds. See, see a tree in America, all right? Kevin Coleman dropped, dropped a touchdown. Uh, it was a contested catch. It would have been a damn good catch. It was contested. You know what I'm talking about? young boy. All uh, right, but shout out to the young man. All right, and it was a strike by Shadur. I will get Shadur that. He was throwing some strikes, all right? Uh, Mr. Henry got another holding penalty on a good run on this drive, and he ended up getting subbed out, okay? And that drive ended in a field goal, okay? You, you, you see this reoccurring, all right? Then we get into the fourth, defense get a stop, we go down, either we don't score or we get a field goal, okay? My, my young boy was the MVP of the game. My young boy, Alejandro, he was the MVP of the game. Shout out to my young, I have embraced him as my young boy. I haven't met him yet. I will hope to get him on here. You know what I'm talking about? I saw the video where he was translating everything. I'm still trying to get fluent in Spanish. Maybe the young blood can help me go ahead and get over the hill, okay? But that's my young boy. I've been embracing him as my young boy right now, okay? Alejandro, shout out. Because that kicking game was something that ran my blood pressure up last year. So I'm glad that that's been fixed, okay? But shit, we had a kick block. We had a kid. We can't can't have none of that. I'm perfectionist, America. We can't have that. Can't have that. Uh, but that defense, Mr. Niles Gaddy, elite. Mr. Aubrey Miller, elite. My boy, Mr. Miller, he made us a, a stellar play on a, a screen. Snuffed that motherfucker out real quick. Just you know, IQ probably watching film. Knocked it down. Uh, we forced an intentional grounding out there. We really were in that backfield. These boys were in that backfield. You feel me? But we can't have this. This in inconsistency offensively. We can't have that. We saw last year, for the most part, the defense was consistently good or great. Good or great. This year, the defense has been through two games, but that's eight quarters of football. All eight quarters, defense been stellar. Offense, I don't need to, you know what? Keep bullshitting. Let me tell you what Prime need to do. Hold on. Let me goddamn go into coach mode. Let me take this bitch back, okay? 
Let me tell you right now what Cole Prime need to do, goddammit. Okay. First of all, Coach need to tell them boy, that wasn't no bull junk. That was some bullshit. We can't, we can't hold on to the ball. All these goddamn drills we're doing, we can't just fundamental football. Fundamental football. We can't hold on to the ball. That's not being smart. That's not being disciplined. These fucking holding penalties. That's not being disciplined. It's not being smart. Even when we finally throw the late touchdown, and I got that shit in my nose. Look, my blood pressure must be going up. I dropped my fucking phone. Shit. We, when we score the final touchdown, what we do? We get a, a penalty. Can Mr. Gaines takes his helmet off? What I tell you, um, this prime talk. I want smart, tough, fast, disciplined with character. That's what I need from from all phases of the game, every game, every quarter. And you might say that's asking too much. That's asking too much, coach. No game is gonna be perfect. But goddamn it, we chase perfect. We are gonna catch excellence. And that's what we want here at Jack State University. Okay? That's what Prime need to tell them, motherfucker. And he need to add this on there, too. I uh, saw so y'all had that rap battle. And offense, you look like you won that rap battle. But you keep the bullshit up. You keep the bullshit up where you only put all your pieces together for a great game of football when a, the opposing team been talking shit. Like last year, the best offensive showing was the Alabama a and game. Why? Because they had been talking shit. They, they, uh, the Coach Maynard said that shit about uh, um, the scooter. Won't Coach Prime to give him the scooter. Okay? And, and, and the offense took that personally. And what they do, we come out there and goddamn do the fool on the boys at home coming. Okay? Fam, you have been talking that shit. Cash money shit all over social media for a whole damn year. Because they got their close to whooping our ass last year. We won by one point. Okay? So they've been talking shit. They thought they had a chance. So what you do, you come in there and beat the shit out of them. But Tennessee State ain't been talking no shit. So it wasn't, it wasn't no sense of urgency. Offense, if your ass going to play like that, we're going to run this rap battle back again. But this time... We ain't battling with words. It's going to be hands. We're going we to – players only meeting, sanctioned by the coaches. I'm going to let y'all throw hands. Defense get on them. Let's see if can y'all win that battle. Because obviously this side of the ball wants to be physical. This side of the ball gave up two damn yards of rushing. This side of the ball wants to be tough. They want to be disciplined. Offense, I need that out of your ass. Quit fucking around with me. I'm not doing this again this year. I'm not having no South Carolina State debacle. Fuck, fuck, that's on down the road. I don't need this shit going in the ground. I don't need none of these games because you know what the... So in this social media era, when your team lose, your ass is bombarded. I'm not going to deal with that shit. So get it together, offense. And defense. Y'all keep doing your motherfucking thing. Put it on some. Thank you so much for watching my daddy's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, and turn on your post notifications. Okay, how do I do it?